Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, it's just going to be a short episode today. I'm just uh, touching base and letting everybody know what's going on. Uh, I haven't been on for a little while because, you know, things tend to get a little repetitive after a while. I'm actually going the wrong way. I was just here. Uh, I haven't been on in a few weeks. Uh, if you remember, if you've been with the series for a while, you probably remember Tricorder. He was actually on here for a while after the last episode. Uh, we started doing, adding a few things to the station and doing a few things, but after a while, you know, it gets really repetitive. But news on the street is we have another really interesting update coming up at the end of the month or beginning of March, uh, March 1st, 2018. Yeah. Uh, ooh, a fire. Uh, we have. They're not only are they re completely reworking the life support, what they're doing is it's either going to be every module or every room in every module is going to have its own own air tank. And they're going to be introducing another resource, which is actually going to be air. And the system is actually going to take the oxygen and the nitrogen, mix them together into, oc into an actual air resource. And then that will be used for pressurizing the station. Uh, each room and module will really be able to be independently depressurized. So if you want to, say, take off this uh, that module off this port here, you can depressurize both those doors so you can actually open them up from the outside without having to worry about venting resources. Uh, at the same time, too, if you ever want to log off, the from, log off from the game for a week or so, you can depressurize the entire station back into the tanks. Uh, go do come back a week later, whatever, check for any repairs, and then once everything's good, then you can repressurize everything again which is good. And then the next one is going to be an interesting one. Where's that elevator? Uh, it's going to be pressure, uh, a cr new crafting system, which is going to inv basically involve any parts, whether it be containers or welders or spare helmets or whatever, can be uh, disassembled, salvaged in a, what was it, an Altcorp fabrication module. And that's what they're going to be calling it. It's supposed to be supposed to have like a 3D printer and a CNC machine and basically you can take any resources or parts you find whether it be you know like bolts and detonators, resource injectors, dead warp cells for instance and you can basically make whatever you want even if you have a spare jetpack so you can take the jetpack break it down and turn it into a, a new welding tool or a new rifle or, or what have you. They're supposed to be introducing like alloys and carbon fibers and stuff like that to do this. And it's definitely going to change how thing, everything works around here, give you a little more to do and uh, a little bit more time management you've got to deal with. I logged on here and all the solar panels on the station were like completely destroyed. Or not destroyed, but defective. No, yeah, it's just so many repairs. I was walking through and everything was all rusty. But anyways, I thought I'd just let everybody know what's going on. Uh, the series is definitely going to keep on going. Uh, as they more add more mechanics and things to do, obviously the playtime is going to increase. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. it. Well, it wasn't much to enjoy, but I'll definitely see you guys in, in about a week and a half. And we'll probably be seeing Tricorder too. Anyway, later.